One of the biggest problems with ChatGPT is that it is difficult to get longer outputs. We're talking 1,000 to 2,000 or more in the actual word count. And I've heard a number of different ways that you can get around this and actually get it to write more. And so we are gonna be testing a number of these methods today. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I do provide a side-by-side -side comparison between different models and different platforms and different approaches so you can see which ones actually work. Let's get into it. All right, so to start with, we're gonna be looking at ChatGPT first. And I have a couple of different prompts and things that we're gonna run through here. Uh, but really, there are two methods that have been proposed to me and that I've done, found in my research that supposedly are able to get you a higher word count by essentially tricking the AI model into thinking it can write more. Because usually, in my experience working with ChatGPT, it usually caps out at around 600 words or so, and it's even less if you're using Claude, it's usually three to 400, somewhere in there. And so we're gonna see if any of these methods actually work. To start with, we're gonna just see what it does when we just ask it to write 1,000 words. So here's the prompt we're gonna be using. Using the following four story beats, I want you to write 1,000 words or roughly 250 words per beat of a chapter. And then this is just a couple of stylistic issues or, or stylistic addendums that I always put in my beats. And then I have one, two, three, four beats that I'd worked out previously. So we're just gonna ask it to write 1000 words and see how well it does. Sometimes ChatGPT can surprise us and actually do okay, but let's just see. All right, well, we've got the output here. Seems to have done okay. There's a decent amount of words here, but if we take it and look at word counter, we see it's only 435 words. Not great, ChatGPT. Okay, I asked for a thousand, it gave me 435. Now sometimes ChatGPT will uh, prompt you to continue writing and it'll just keep going where it left off, but it didn't do that in this case. It did actually finish it, and I would have liked it to spend more time on each story beat, and so what we end up with is a rushed story beat uh, or series of story beats, and that's what we don't want to happen. We want it to spend the full amount of time with each story beat, and so that's not really what we're looking for. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this prompt, open up a new chat, and we're gonna change just one thing about this and that, that is we're going to change this from words to characters. And here's what I mean by that. Uh, there's roughly, I looked this up, it's roughly 4.7 characters on average to every word. And so I'm just gonna round that up to five and we're gonna say, please do 5,000 characters or roughly a 1,250 character count, we'll delete words per beat of a chapter. Make sure to write and yada, 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 everything else stays the same. And let's see, I've heard that this can increase the, the uh, number of words that ChatGPT will write and let's see if, the, if that's correct. All right, so now we have this and it looks decent. Let's go to word counter and see if it does any better. All right, so still not anywhere near the 1,000 words or the 5,000 characters that I asked it for, but we did get a little bit more here. We got 517, so maybe this works, but honestly, I've seen it give me this much when I ask it for a word count before, so I'm not sure this really helps it that much. So we're gonna try one more thing. And with that, we're going to basically take this prompt again. We're gonna copy it into a new chat one more time. And instead of writing 5,000 characters, we're gonna change this to say write 80 paragraphs or roughly 20 paragraphs per beat. And we're gonna see if this works. I've heard this one can do well. 
and see if it actually improves the word count that we get out of ChatGPT. Let's go. So far, we're doing pretty well. Um, it did pause and ask me to if I want to continue generating, and I'm going to hit yes because that will just pick off exactly where it left off. Um, but that's a good thing. I haven't had to do that with any of the others yet. All right, so now we have the finished number of paragraphs. Now, I asked it for 80 paragraphs, and it looks like it's given us 20. It even numbered them for us. So that is not quite meeting the mark. But let's just take this into word counter and see if it does any better. And look at that. We got 974 words. That is pretty incredible. So it looks like actually asking it to use paragraphs instead of words or character counts actually does work. Um, we got a pretty good output here of close to a thousand words, which is what I wanted. And so that is pretty great. And I'm really encouraged by this. So if you want to do that, you can give it a try, see if it works for you. You might have to try it a couple of times. The first time I tried this, it didn't give me quite as many words, but it still definitely did better. And so uh, I can definitely say that asking it for paragraphs is definitely the way to go. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and test a few other things behind the scenes and get back to you with a final word count of uh, using these two methods, but with a few other tools, and we'll just see what happens. Okay, so I've now tested this with Claude on two different platforms, and I've tested it with OpenAI's platform, and these are the numbers that I got. And let's just zoom in here a little bit. So this is what we're looking at. So ChatGPT, here are the numbers that you just saw us make. When I asked for 1,000 words, it gave me 435. When I asked for uh, 5,000 characters, or, which would be roughly what 1,000 words would look like. I got 517, which is a little bit more, but not a lot. And when I asked for 80 paragraphs, it got me 974. I tried the same thing with OpenAI Playground and got very similar results, except it seems to do a little bit better with words and with characters. It gave me a little bit more in both of those ca cases. And you'll notice that asking it for the characters did actually result in slightly higher output. So that is, was interesting, that was good to know. And asking it for paragraphs also got me a pretty pretty high amount of text there. Um, now I went and tried Claude on two different platforms. There's Poe.com where you can try it and then Open Playground, which I featured in a recent video where you can play with all of the different tools to some, some extent. I made sure that the um, character count, the potential character count was set all the way as high as it would go, so it wouldn't stop early. Uh, same for OpenAI Playground. And what I found is that Claude really struggles with length, and pretty much nothing that I did uh, really saw a huge interest. When I used it on Open Playground, I was able to get a slightly longer word count when I asked it to do paragraphs but there really wasn't a noticeable difference on Poe. And in fact, it did worse with characters uh, when I asked it to do with Poe. So if you're using Claude, at least for now, I would recommend planning to do it in smaller chunks because that I think is the only way you're gonna be able to do it. The most you'll be able to do is about 400 words at a time. That's something to keep in mind. But with ChatGPT or OpenAI, if you're using those official playgrounds, um, or platforms, you can definitely get more out of it by asking it for paragraphs. The only thing, uh, the only caveat I would add to that is that if you have a scene that is dialogue heavy, for example, you might have more paragraphs in it than others. And so you might want to keep that in mind. I also, when I was looking over the results from chat GPT, just pull that in here. Um, each of these paragraphs seem very similarly length. And I wouldn't necessarily want that in a natural flowing text. And so that's something to keep in mind as well. You might not actually want to do this method unless you just have a lot of text that needs to go in at a specific point. Uh, but if you want to vary your paragraph length, if you want to have a lot of dialogue, a lot of back and forth, or you know, a kind of a well-crafted scene, 
this might not be the way to go. You could, of course, probably break some of these paragraphs out and try some new things. But that's something to keep in mind. It will probably have an effect on the flow of your text. So just bear that in mind. Otherwise, I think this is a really good method to try and increase the amount of word count you get out of a single chat. So if that is interesting to you, go ahead and check it out. Try it out for yourself, and I will see you in the next video.